What's up YouTube? Oh do I have a story for you today. Oh, it's a crazy story. I'm talking about a big, big, big fail. Like, damn, well, I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but let's just get into the story, man. Damn, man, damn. So guys, the story takes place in my dad's house that I used to go to every weekend. And you know, I don't know if you guys know the little, I forgot what they're called, the machumina soups. Those little, like, little soups that has a little thing, you know, you rip it off, the little plastic, the little top, and then you put water, and you put it in a microwave, and boom, it's a noodle soup. Completed. Done. Best thing ever invented. About 50 cents each. Well, it's based off that. So the whole story goes by, I was in my dad's house, you know, I was the only one home, I was in my room, I was watching TV, I was actually watching Naruto, and I was watching, you know, that used to be my favorite episode, my favorite show back then. And I believe I was 12 years old at the time. I was watching Naruto, you know, I was enjoying it. I was having a good time. And what a commercial break, right? So I rush into the kitchen. I'm like, holy shit, I gotta make this food fast before the freaking show starts back up because it's intense. So I put the, I just get the soup. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was, my mind was like too many places at the same time. You know, it's scientifically proven that you can't really multitask. You obviously kind of can, but you you can never be really focused on one thing. You know, your mind's not like you. That's how you mess up things, I guess you can say. So you know, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess my head wasn't too many things, and it just proves multitasking is. It's true. You can't do it really. But I put the soup. You know, I don't know how fast it did everything, but I took it off. I took the wrapper off, and. I guess like that process of putting water kind of went through my head. It literally just like didn't happen. Like I, I must have like imaginally thought I put the water in. Like it's, it is. It's like if I did it. Like if I was flash, I just bitch water. It was really weird. Either way, I put the can of soup in the microwave. You know, thinking it has water. Thinking everything is fine. You know, my show's about to start. You know, the can has water. You know, I can't wait to eat some good noodle soup. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Yeah, no. I go to watch my show. I'm watching my show. It's it's getting interesting. It's going good. Out of nowhere, I start hearing the 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 the, the alarm. What's it called? The sm smoke alarm? The fire alarm. Fire alarm. God, uh, it's so common. But my God, I don't know how I missed that. Whatever. So I hear the fire alarm. I'm like, oh shit, what just happened? What's going down? I rush to I rush outside of my bedroom. Out of nowhere, smoke everywhere. My house is filled with smoke. Am I, I like? It was it was kind of bad in the living room and in, especially in the kitchen, but it wasn't like all over the house. You know, it's it wasn't that bad, but you know, there's smoke everywhere. I'm like, holy shit, what's happening, right? This shit's it's crazy. So I rush into the microwave. I I oh I see the smoke come from the microwave. I'm like, holy shit! I open the microwave. The can of soup, which I did not put water in, is pretty much it's it's burnt. It's like completely burnt. You know. I basically, <laughs> I basically set it on fire. There was still a little fire going on, but thank God it was nothing too crazy. I didn't have to get like a fire extinguisher or nothing. So I just like kind of blew it out, kind of just went away by itself. But my God, there was smoke everywhere. It smelled so bad, so burnt. So the next thing I did, after I opened the microwave, puffs of smoke just, boom, hit me in the face. So the next thing I did, I had I couldn't obviously breathe that in it was very bad very strong so I ran to the other room mind you I'm a 12 years old all alone in a pretty sticky situation but you know I managed to get out through it I run to the other room I get a, a t-shirt wrap it around my mouth which it barely fit you know I was like I had to like really get the corners and tie it it, it didn't work too well but it fit I was able to block my nose and my mouth to breathe correctly breathe well so the next thing I did I get like freaking little tonsils or whatever I get the I extract extract the soup from the microwave throw it away and my god this thing was burnt like you know the can of soup like this ended up becoming like this and it was just black it was just it was just burnt like completely burnt like I've never done this in my life biggest fail ever either way after that was done uh, you know, there was a lot of smoke everywhere. I had to open all the windows in the house to take out the smoke. And, you know, I managed to do everything. Everything was okay. You know, I was safe. You know, nothing crazy really. Nothing extremely bad happened. But that's just the... Uh, the there's a funny end to it, though. So my dad walks into the house. He's like, it smells a little burnt. I'm like, yeah, I burnt the soup. But but that's not... But, but that's not, like, what really... What's the funny part about it. So I head to my room, right? I left the shirt I used... The t-shirt, the t-shirt I used to cover him up, I left it in a chair in the living room, in the kitchen table, and you know, I just went to my room, continue watching my shows, I'm laying down, you know, I'm just laying down in the bed, chilling. 
Out of nowhere, my dad comes to calls my name. I hear Brian. Uh, he doesn't really sound like that, but I hear I hear him calling my name. I headed to the I headed to the kitchen, and then I, he's like, "Did you smoke? Are you smoking?" I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Smell. It smells like cigarettes." And I, I actually I, I was like I was kind of and I damn you're right it does and then it and then it hit me it hit me I told him. I told him the whole situation. I told him what happened with the whole smoke and everything. And, you know, I guess he believed me. You know, I didn't really have to show him proof. I didn't have to go and go into the freaking trash can and get the thing out. But, you know, he believed me. But I was, I've never been, I guess I was really tense at that time. I'm like, holy shit, my dad just caught me smoking. Like, holy shit, I'm fucked. But then I realized <laughs> I didn't really smoke. It was kind of a, a, a funny moment. It was a pretty big fail, guys. Uh, everything about it, but thankfully like I said, I'm safe always be safe and always remember to put water in a damn can of soup So I hope you guys enjoyed this little story. Don't forget to like comment subscribe I really appreciate you guys and the support and the love you guys are freaking awesome Always be happy man. Be happy happy is happiness is key to spread some happiness around you But thanks for watching guys really honestly appreciate you don't forget to really leave a like but thumbs up, you know it's been your boy Apathy, and I'm out. Let's go! The trap has been set. Ha, this is all fake. It's fake. But can't wait, guys. It's be hilarious. I can't wait for her reaction. She is so emotional sometimes. I can't wait how she's going to react. Hope you guys like this video. Let's get down to business. Gonna start posting it all over. Pull my heart out of my chest. Train my mind so I forget. Sink your teeth into my bones. Dig me out, then fill the hole. Tear me apart. Tear me apart. Watch it burn. Alright guys, I'm finally done. I'm at, I might as well call this pranking myself. My god, it's hot in here, I'm exhausted. It's been, I've been doing this for, it took me about 45 minutes. 